Hey, what's up guys? Diwali19 here. Um, trying a new camera setup. So hopefully this works. Um, I have it mounted on my windshield this time and it still looks super shaky. Um, I don't know if there's probably more I need to do with my camera to not make it so jittery. Or maybe it's because this stiff ride of this 2017 Super WRX STI, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. But anyway, this is, uh, this is gonna be my second official STI vlog. Um, and I figured I would talk about why I chose red. Um, basically, uh, just a little background on the whole color thing. Um, I was freaking out about color for like three weeks. Like I knew I was going to get an STI when they first hit. Uh, Huberger Subaru down in the Springs had a bunch of different colors. I didn't buy my car from them, but they had a bunch of colors and I was like, man, I could, basically everything was there. And they were having a huge shipment of them in coming in. Um, a couple other dealerships had different colors and I was freaking out. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, what do I pick? What do I do? I don't know. It's just so much pressure. Um, so I, <laughs> I kid you not, I was freaking out for weeks. Okay. Let me say this, no matter what color you get this car in, it looks fantastic. This car looks amazing. You can't go wrong with any color. Um, it really does look good and you really need to see it first. If you're thinking about buying this car or if you're not sure about the looks, go look at it in person. Um, it's crazy, especially like in the middle of the day with the sun on it or at night or at dusk, like the colors will change. So the main reason why I went with the pure red, it would be, I wanted something unique. Um, I just don't think you see STIs in red. Um, I can think of maybe in the past two years when I had my WRX, I think I only saw one. And to me, I just wanted a awesome, unique color. So that, that's my number one reason is I just, I wanted something unique. I wanted something that wasn't the stereotypical STI color, first of all, but also just all cars in general. So, um, that was reason number one. Reason number two was I actually had a deposit down on a black one. And I really liked the black. Like I test drove the black, a black one twice. And it was, I thought it looked sharp. Like I'm, I'm not a big black car kind of person. Like I, I actually think all blacked out cars look kind of douchey. Um, but for some reason, like it looks, it looks sharp. The reason I didn't go with black was I went to the eventual dealership. Oh shit, the dealership that I went to, um, that I bought my car from, I should say. I was just stopping by to look at, they had a bunch of 2017 WRXs um, in a lot of different colors. And I was just stopping by to see what the colors looked like and they had a 2017 my car red pure red sti on the lot and i was like man that looks sharp it just it blew me away at how good it looked it was like perfectly clean probably they had just i think they had just put it out because i driven, drove past the the dealership beforehand and i didn't see it sitting there and it just looked i was like Phew. i don't know if i could wait my order on the black STI um, was I still they were like eh, it might be this week it might be next week we're still waiting um, initially they're like yeah it'll be here June 10th and then like ooh, the order was messed up um, it's not gonna be here until maybe two weeks around I was like you know what I don't want to wait anymore it's summer I want to enjoy driving this before I'm on summer break I'm a teacher and I was like I want to drive it during the summer break it in that way I don't have to worry about it and I saw the red one and was just blown away I was like this looks awesome 
So, yeah, uh, I bought it, got a good deal. I had been talking with the dealership too for a while and we had been trying to work on a, a good deal. Um, and I finally, I, I, I think I got a fair price, fair trade in for my uh, WRX. Um, so yeah, so it was just convenience. It would be number two and it was there. I saw it, blew me away and I, I, I had it right then and there. And then uh, I would say the third reason would be, so I, I, really it's the unique and I saw it and it blew me away. But the third reason, I didn't want to go with the color I'd, I had had before. Um, some of my previous colors were, I had a silver SI. Never been a big fan of silver, I don't know why. It's like an in-between color, it's just the safe color I would say. Um, I had a World Rally Blue WRX, which I'll talk about briefly um, in another vlog. And loved World Rally Blue, but I just wasn't feeling it. And then my 2015 WRX was Crystal White Pearl, which was awesome. And I actually considered getting uh, a 2017 STN White, but I just couldn't do it. So yeah, so those are the main reasons. I just, I wanted something unique. And a funny story, first, literally like the second night I had this car, I was driving down Santa Fe. It was like one in the morning. I had just left a friend's birthday party. I, I wouldn't stop by. And I'm, I'm driving up to uh, a stoplight. And this car comes by, this Camry comes by, and this it's a, it's a girl and her boyfriend, I'm guessing. We're like, sweet car, dude, awesome ride. I'm like, thanks guys, I just got it. And they're like, dude, it looks sick. It looks so good in red. And I was like, thanks, man, I, I, I'm just breaking her in. And he's like, dude, I don't think I've ever seen a red, a, a red STI. And I'm like, that's exactly why I got it. And that really is a big reason is like, I love the STI in all colors. You can't go wrong. World Rally Blue, white, black, dark gray metallic looks phenomenal. Um, but I just wanted something unique, you know, and just hearing him say that was like, that's exactly why I got the red. Um, and actually yesterday I was just at a parking garage and the guy's like, dude, I just, I have a 2016 crystal white pearl STI. And he's like, how do you like yours? I'm like, I love it. And he's like, I don't think I've seen a red STI. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly why I got it. It's unique. Um, so I guess the fourth point would be another reason why I got it is whenever I was telling people that I was going to get, I was considering the red car. A few people were like, yeah, go for it. I've never seen a red Subaru. And then, uh, but the other, almost everybody else, I'd say a huge percentage was always like, no, can't get a red car. Can't get a red sports car. You're just going to get pulled over. You're going to get pulled over. Red cars get pulled over. And I was just so sick of hearing that. I was so sick of hearing that. I'm like, I'm going to get pulled over. It's going to be because I'm driving like an idiot. I, I, they're like, oh, well, it's proven studies. It's proven studies. Red cars get pulled over more. Did some research on the internet. No, actually red cars get pulled over about just as much as any other car. And there are other colors that get pulled over way more just because there's way more percentages of them. But it's like consistently everywhere I was reading is like cops pull you over because you're driving like an idiot. Not they could give a shit about what color your car is. So we'll see. Um, the second I start to get more tickets because of this car will be the, the day I get rid of it. So. Um, I just didn't want to feed into that, that, uh, stereotype of the color of the car. Like I just, I was like, you know what? I don't care. It looks great in red. Um, it looks phenomenal. I love the contrast between the black and the red. I like the windows with the black, the wheels, the grill. I like that contrast. Um, so I'd like to go over the other colors too and what I, my thoughts about them were, cause I was, I considered every, every color you guys, like I was, I was so torn, but um, things I've noticed while having this car in red, you do get noticed. And I'm not about being flashy. My last car was white, um, silver before that, like just very non-flashy colors. This is the brightest color I've ever had, but um, you get noticed big time. You, you, I get noticed. I've, I've, I always see, like, if I look over, there's always, like, somebody looking at my car, 
like being like, oh, that car must be an exotic super sports car or something just because it's red. And then they're like, oh, it's just a Subaru. You know, like, it's really weird. I definitely notice people looking at my car more just because it's red. Like, I think if this was black or gray or, I'm sure it'd get noticed, but I feel like with the red, people are always looking at it. It's crazy. Um, Subarus. WRXs and STIs, I get way more waves now because I think the red just stands out more. And my white WRX, at least in Colorado, people weren't waving me as much and not even noticing me because I think it's just so, it blends in so well. Um, so you do get attention with the red, whether I like it or not, you know, that's something I gotta live with. I'm not about having a flashy car, but it does, it looks good. Um, so yeah, so you definitely get noticed. Oh, I forgot. Also, one last point on why I picked red uh, would be my dad <clears throat> has a red Honda CRV, and he's had it for years. It's almost got 200,000 miles. It's always treated him well. So I was like, you know what? If my dad's had a red car, hasn't had accidents, hasn't got ticket problems, it's been a great car for him in red. I was like. Why, why not I get red? You know, it's if it's gonna treat my dad well, the red, I feel like it's a good omen. Good luck to get a car um, that's treated my dad so well with that color. So that was that was another major point is I forgot that my dad has a red vehicle and it's been great for him. It still looks great. And um, hopefully this red vehicle will treat me well as well. So thoughts on the other colors. Um, like I said before, no matter what color you get in this car, it looks phenomenal. Uh, I would probably, here, this is how I would rank my colors. Obviously, I gotta go red number one because I love it and I think it looks unique. It looks fantastic. Uh, you don't see many of them, it's rare. It definitely looks more sporty. Um, but if I had to do it again, if someone was like, you have, to pick a different color you cannot get red like gun to my head um my second choice and i kept switching between them but after i saw it in person would be the dark gray metallic dark gray metallic in the light looks the best the metallic sparkles on it in daylight it looks phenomenal with in, in direct sunlight like it I, it blew me away it really did um but my problem with the dark gray was it was like Ugh. When it's not in that bright light or if it's just driving down the road, you're not really gonna notice it. And again, there's there's not that contrast between like the wheels and like the tint. It would just be uh, all shades of gray, which isn't bad. Um, but I was like, I didn't, that's that's why I didn't go for it. Um, so then that, that's what I would say about black too. I was gonna get black, like that's what I had my money on, and I was switching between that and dark gray until I saw the red. Um, so with the the black, everyone tells me, oh, it's such a pain in the butt to keep clean. It's so horrible to keep clean. It's true. There are two like 15 plus WRXs at this gym I go to work out at, and they're always filthy. Um, but I like the look. I do. I think it looks great, especially with the LED tail lights or headlights. Um, Definitely looks sporty, like all blacked out would look cool. But again, I didn't like how it didn't have that contrast. And, um, yeah, I just, I didn't like how it, it would just be all one color. You wouldn't, I don't think the black does a good job showing the lines and the curves of the car either. But super clean, like just washed, yeah, it looks pretty dang slick, but Again, I like that contrast between the window tent wheels and the rest of the car. Um, then after that, I would say I love World Rally Blue. I think that's probably the second best looking color in the sun. Um, my problem with, uh, I, so when I went, when I got this car, I was freaking out. I was like, do I get World Rally Blue? Do I just get the standard Subaru color, you know, because they had a World Rally Blue as well, base, every, just like this, and I just couldn't do it. I I love World Rally Blue, don't get me wrong, it's a phenomenal color, phenomenal. It's, it 
No, if you get that color, it will always look good, no matter what. Like it's timeless. Um, but I was just, I'm just tired of seeing that car in that color. You see it everywhere. I mean, and there's a reason. Yeah, it looks great in that color. Absolutely, I agree. But I just, I just wanted something different. And there, no, no, like offense to World Rally Blue fans out there. I think it looks great. Um, I just didn't want to add another World Rally Blue to the sea of WRXs and STIs out there. Uh, what's left? Ooh, if you want to go super um, sleeper, blend in, super unique, I think the most unique color for the STI and WRX would be the Lapis Blue. I did see it. They had a limited Lapis Blue Pearl. Looks good. Very nice, very unique. I feel like that, like I said, would be the most unique color you could get the car in. Um, my problem with the Lapis was that I just felt it should have, like that's the color I would get my legacy when I am when I have kids and a family. Like, that's like the perfect legacy color to me. I don't know why, but it just, it just, it just screamed four-door sedan, four-door family sedan. Like, I don't know. It's beautiful color like it looks great and especially if you like if you get the windows tinted I think it looks great I just just couldn't do it, it just screamed legacy to me I don't know that's all I could say about that color um, but yeah if you want something super rare that that's the color to go um, what's left uh, crystal white pearl great color love it but I had a 2015 WRX in that color I didn't want to do it again and I had a, another white car before that so it's kind of over the white, but I love the white. Again, that almost makes it look like it blends in too much. So my problems with the black, gray, and white is that it almost just looks too pedestrian or common, just blending in with the other sea of cars out there, I guess. Um, and then ice silver. That's my least favorite color. I don't know why, but silver just screams safe. Just screams, that's a silver car. And it's gonna stay easy to keep clean, easy to maintain, but there's a lot of silver cars out there. And I just, I don't know why, but I've never liked silver. If it was more gray or more like matte or something, maybe I'd like it more, but the, I feel like the silver on the STI or WRX is there. This silver is just kind of boring. Just screams practical. Silver is the practical color. Um, so yeah, so, oh, and one of my coworkers, another teacher has a 15 WRX in silver and I was like, uh, don't really want to match that. Um, but like I said at the beginning, this car looks phenomenal in all the colors and you, you, you can't, no matter which color you choose or whatever you're thinking, you'll instantly love it no matter what because it, it looks great. Um, another bonus with the red I feel like is that it matches the interior with all the red stitching and whatever these sections are and the instrument clusters and the lights. So that's just an added bonus. Um, that's why I was considering the gray and the black too is I felt like that would go well. Um, so yeah, so those are my thoughts on the color. Uh, hopefully the audio is good and it's not as shaky. Um, I'm gonna try to make as many videos as I can, but I'm discovering that uploading these things takes a while and um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, quite a, it's quite a task sometime to get these videos up. So um, I did get my winter tires I got my winter tires sorry and uh, I'm probably gonna do a video with that do one about the I have the husky liners and why I chose those over the weather techs and I'm trying to think if there's anything else oh I'm gonna try to do a canyon run this weekend so that'll be fun because now I've can drive it how I want and not have to worry about it so hopefully I won't get pulled over for the color and um, yeah thanks again for watching guys